language is really evolving. And that's the reason why I love language, because it also deals with real life language-related problems. You just have to look around you and you would know that you'll be able to come up with a research in line with linguistics. So that's applicable linguistics. You see, I cannot describe myself yet as a forensic linguist because I have just gotten myself immersed in this new area in the field of applied linguistics. But I've been doing research on FL for about three or four years now. Forensic linguistics is actually a new area and a very fertile area for research in the field of applied linguistics. And it's the study of legal texts and the nature of the legal language. It also covers investigative interviewing, interpreting issues, and analyzing also the written language of the law. The themes for FL revolve around sex, violence, crime, and suicide. And for the corpus, you can also make use of both written and spoken corpus. With the written corpus, you can study or analyze statutes, contracts, temporary restraining orders, suicide notes, etc. For spoken, you may also decide to work on voice analysis, like for example in the case of bomb threats, espionage, and the like. You can divide forensic linguistics into three areas. The first one is the written language of the law. The second one has something to do with interaction in the legal process. And the third area deals with the description of the work of the forensic linguist acting as an expert witness. Suicide notes, for example, could be analyzed in terms of linguistic features. You cannot declare, for example, that this was authored by the person who committed suicide. You can only say such if there's already a thorough analysis of the linguistic features and then the forensic linguist comes into the picture. So there really are linguistic features that would signify or that would prove that a writing is produced by a male or a female or by a professional or a non-professional at that. For those who would want to enter this field, I'd like to suggest that they should have a very strong foundation first in linguistics. Because in linguistics, we do study phonology, we study morphology, we study pragmatics, semantics, syntax, and that. And these actually serve as the foundation for forensic linguistics. I am very proud to say that even our undergraduate students also engage in FL research. Even if they do not have enough training, I think the interest and the motivation are always there. And I'm happy about the fact that more and more graduate and undergraduate students are becoming interested in FL. So we know that language can be applied, for example, to sociology. That's the reason why we have social linguistics. It could be applied to psychology. That's why we have psycholinguistics. It could be applied to literature. So we have stylistics at like that. There is really no discipline that does not use language. So we have to accept the fact that in everything that we do, there is always the use of language, be it verbal or nonverbal at like that.